there's a whole other story of me where I give, I think it's after this, I give the same thing, a book of poems to, to Allen Ginsberg, who does that. But Ginsberg loves it. He goes like, oh, this is amazing. And in, Gins, in fact, Ginsberg thought it was so great that he took me to the first Earth Day that ever happened after loving the poems and brought me the thing and, and introduced me to all the literary people, the important people of Philadelphia, like Ira Einhorn. <laughs> <laughs> And Ginsburg's thing was, this was the same kind of stuff, is that the kind of poetry, I used to write normal poetry, and apparently I was the enfant terrible of this kind of thing, you know, of what's called modernist poetry, it's more specifically at that time called Black Mountain School poetry. Uh, Gary Snyder, Robert Creeley was my hero. And I could write the stuff, apparently, when I was 16 or 17, that was like, the, you know, where you stop, just the, you know, the, shoes on the window. Dash sill, my father's shadow. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? And, you know, <laughs> I, 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 didn't, I didn't. When I think back now, I didn't know what I was. I didn't know what I was writing. You know, two bricks, a car passing by. You know? But whatever. But back then, Ginsburg was like, "Oh man, this guy can really do that kind of stuff." And introduced me to these people as the next, what they called next, Robert Creeley. Like I said, the big joke was to basically to, to, to Ira Einhorn. Uh, actually, it turned out not to, as you can see, I didn't write that kind of poetry, but a year later, I was writing these enormous <laughs> things that I do today. A dog, oh my God. <laughs> this is the dream. That's the whole reason I did the show. <laughs> to have Maddie on stage with me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs>